Hello ladies and gentlemen, today my lecture is going to be about optimization in chemical processes. Really, how do you feel about reaction and reactors? Okay, <laughs> it's very simple example. Let us think that we have this reaction. A gives B. This is the reaction constant, K1. Okay. Let's think that I have a continuous stirred tank reactor. This is the union stream of A, of component A. This is the reactor, and this is the outlet stream of product and A. There is the component A because the reaction efficiency is not 100%. Okay. Really, when I have a reaction, what are the most important balances? Do you know anyone? No. No. Oh, no? Oh, no? No. So? No. Okay. The most important balance is, is first of all, mass balance. The other important balance is energy balance. And finally, because I have reaction, the last balance is molecules balance. Sorry. I'm going to mention because the reaction is exothermic, I need an and a stream of cooling fluid in order to keep the temperature inside the reactor constant. So this is the stream of cooling fluid and this is the temperature, the other temperature of uh, cooling fluid. Okay. These equations First of all, are uh, very complicated, non-linear, and differential. So there is no point to to stay here. But let me stimulate you how the results should be inside the reactor. <coughs> First of all, let's see the graph of concentration by the time. Let's start from concentration of A inside the temple, inside the reactor. As time goes by, the CA0 decreases, and after a specific time, the, 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 the concentration of A remains stable. This happens because the product B is produced. Okay. These areas name dynamic areas, and these areas named steady state areas. Okay. Next comes the graph of temperature by the time.
David, how do you think this graph should be inside the temperature, inside the reactor? I have to mention that uh, this is an exothermic reaction. So, when the reaction starts, the temperature start the temperature starts to increase suddenly. And this is the temperature uh, which we want to stay. Okay. So it's time to optimize my process now. So I I forgot the dynamic areas and I I do research on steady state areas. Okay, and uh, what do you think about which variable should I choose in order to minimize the operational cost? Minimize what? To minimize the operational <coughs> cost of this process. What do you think? I think a, a compound? No. Uh, uh, I think something that uh, will fasten the process. How do you call it? No? Excuse me. According to, chemi uh, according to chemical engineering groups, groups in chemical engineering, common known as heuristics, when we have a process, when we have to choose between heating and cooling, uh, we prefer to choose the, the heating because the cost of fuels or <coughs> boiling fluids is less expensive than that of cooling uh, water. So here we choose as variable the volume flow rate of uh, the volume flow rate of uh, cooling fluid. So the graph which uh, shows the operational cost by the volume flow rate of cooling fluid is that this is the optimum volume flow rate of cooling fluid and this is the, the optimum cost 